Uh, my expectations for attending the SNRD conference here are really to um, become closer to uh, what's happening also um, in our partner countries because I'm part of a global program, Digital Transformation, based out of Germany where we are also sometimes a little bit far away from um, the the contexts we are working in. So uh, my expectation is really to um, exchange a lot with the colleagues that are here from all the different countries in Africa working um, in the sector of rural development um, and to um, exchange on their experiences, if, um, especially when it comes to digitalization. As I mentioned, I'm part of the global program Digital Transformation and they are part of the um, Atingi project, which is focusing on digital learning. Digital learning can be multifaceted so it has can have very many different angles it can include very different formats that also need to be um, adjusted based on the context we are in um, so I want to really learn more about the circumstances on the ground what works what doesn't work um, what do we also need to offer or change in our approach to um, really help um, partner projects um, to benefit from what we're offering okay so do you have any specific expectations what might come out of this? Um, I mean, ideally, I will find uh, contacts um, that are very interested in using Atingi and will start uh, using our solution that we are offering, whether that is for um, classical e-learning courses and content or other forms of uh, learning uh, solutions that can be um, an IVR solution or some kind of an offline solution. So maybe con uh, concrete leads um, that will uh, end up in a, in a partnership with us. Uh, what I want to get out of the conference is um, basically is the insights uh, from the colleagues on the ground. Um, the learnings that I can take with me back to my team in Germany to really better understand the partner needs and also our learners needs. Is there any, any particular area where you think you would need specific knowledge in terms of the partners? Is there any lack somewhere? Um, specific needs and knowledge that we're currently lacking um, are maybe still connected to accessibility, whether that is um, access to internet connectivity and access to devices and um, how that really impacts how our solution can be used on the ground and how it can be um, uh, benefit partners and learners alike. So I think getting more insights into um, those specific needs and circumstances and how those can be overcome and also what other solutions are maybe even being used. So not only looking at it from our perspective, but also from the perspective of the countries, of the different partners, what other digital solutions are they maybe already using, or also low-tech solutions um, that we can collaborate with or integrate with.